Hello there friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. Glad to be with you and share with you again just a word from the from the Bible on uh, Bible Reflections. Just a short message, but I want it to be one that will bless your heart and help you find something you're looking for and trying to find a way to please God. I find that it's important that we should learn how to pray and learn all the value of prayer. Bible says that in Ephesians in 5 and uh, and uh, we, we find these words, Awake thou that sleeps, and, and uh, Christ will give you life. Call for the name of the Lord. Sometimes we go to sleep regarding prayer and forget to pray. We must, not, we, we must remember not to do that. Over in if Jeremiah, the 31st chapter and verse 3, Call upon me, and I will answer you, saith the Lord. Call upon me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things call upon me and I will answer you. The Lord's promised. So there's a promise in prayer when we call on God and believe He's going to answer and He will answer. Oh, we need to see the, the importance of that. Uh, over in the uh, 18th chapter of Matthew, we have another uh, thought on prayer. Uh, again I say, Jesus said, that if two of you agree as touching anything they shall ask it shall be done of them of my Father in heaven. So two of you agree. Here's a special promise that where two of us agree together and so you need to call someone sometimes that believe what you believe that believe in God and say let's pray together about this situation I'm facing and you pray together and God will answer because he's promised to answer. Or in John the 16th verse we read that we need to pray and according to the commands of God. Commands of God. Here's in 16th chapter of John, he, the Bible says in verse uh, uh, 10, 11, These things I've said unto you, that uh, my, your joy may, may be full. He wants you to have joy, and joy comes from answered prayer many times. The Bible says again, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I loved you. So here's his command, that you love each other. Love others, dear friend, as you love, or oh, as he loved us, endeavor to love others. Seek to love others because it's the command of our God and it's important. And it's a way that we can have power in prayer when we love others and pray in the name of Jesus. Over in the 14th chapter of John, Jesus said these words, uh, Let I say unto you, he that believes on me, he, he, the greater works that I do, he shall do also. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And so another great important thing about prayer is to always ask in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father hears prayer and answers because you're praying in the name of Jesus. He sees you in Christ. He sees Christ in you. And when you pray, He's going to answer. So Jesus said, Whenever you ask in my name, you ask and it shall be given unto you. Oh, that's important. It's important because God has shown us how important it is. And then another time He said, Oh, if you have faith, when you pray, you can move mountains. And all things whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall receive it. Now here's another thought in prayer. When you pray, I want you to try to believe that you will receive the answer to that prayer before you receive it. I want you to believe that you get it before you get it. I want you to believe you have it before it is given. He said, I am, I'm at, and whatsoever you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive it. And so you need to ask and believe, and you will receive Praise God. Talk to the Lord about anything. Talk to Him about everything. It doesn't matter not. It may seem to be un unimportant to you, but it's important to Him if it is important to you. The other day, for instance, I was sitting at a group of table with a group of people, and uh, we were t they were talking, and pretty soon I said, Well, you know what the Bible said? And when I said that, they all got silent, and, and they never did say much. And I said a few words about it, and they... They, they, then they begin to talk again about other things and about the world, about things going on. And that's all right at times, and I try to go along. But then I said, and by the way, 
and I'm watching the Bible again, and they all got quiet and they didn't talk anymore. <laughs> and so anyway, later on, I said, Lord, I prayed about it, and I said, Lord, would you help me to know how to speak for you? I I don't know that I'm doing the right thing in speaking when everybody gets silent like they, like they don't want to hear it. And the thought came to me in my mind, of, I believe it was from the Lord, and it said to me in my heart, you are to try to please me when you speak. You're not trying to please people, you're trying to please me. It's just that simple. And so it helped me. And I said, thank you, Lord. But you see, it's a matter of prayer. I talked to God, and I believe he got, uh, I got the word from Him, and that's important for us to know and understand. Oh, some thoughts in prayer, so important. Another important thing about prayer is to confess your sins. When you make a mistake, confess it. The Bible says that in 1 John, the second verse, if we, if we confess our sins, I mean, this is in the first chapter, Ninth verse, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we, we make him a liar and the truth is not in us. In other words, as Christians, we're going to sin and make mistakes. But when we do learn to confess them, but you're confessing them now as a family confession, and you're confessing them to your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. You're confessing them in the name of Jesus, your blessed Lord. Amen. And so God will hear, and you'll become closer to Him when you learn to confess your sins before Him. That's very important to do that. And then another thing about prayer is to thank God for His many blessings. So many things He does for us. And so we need to be grateful and thank Him and call upon Him. Thank Him. Instead of trying to find something to complain about, try to look for something to thank Him about. The Bible says in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all of his blessings. He forgives all of your sins. And he heals all your diseases. He has, oh, satisfied your mouth with good things. And your youth is often renewed like the eagle. And so there are some of the blessings God gives. He gives blessings. Oh, he, he blesses you with tender mercies. He blesses you with food, clothes, and shelter. He blesses you with health. He blesses you with forgiveness of sin. All the many things that He's blessed you with. We need to forgive and ask God to forgive us and to help us to know. And so it's important that we learn these thoughts about prayer. To call on the name of the Lord while He is near. And if you haven't prayed a prayer and asked God to come in your heart, pray that prayer and just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray a prayer like that, and you'll be able to know that you can pray, and God will hear and answer prayer. So remember these thoughts in prayer, and help you to keep on calling on God. And the Lord God will keep on blessing your life. Amen and amen.